Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a festival makeup look, recreating this look. And yes, I'm not going to a festival, but that is beside the point because I just want to try out some fun makeup and show it for all of you guys. So if you want to see how I created this look, carry on watching. So we're going to start with the eyes. And this is the finished eye look that is on the right side of my face. And again, I was going to show you on the right side, but I completely forgot, uh, like last time. So that is just finished eye look. It doesn't look as good when my eyes are closed. But like that, it looks good. So let's switch it to here. I'm going to start with my MAC concealer that I just use as a primer. And we want it to go all over my eyelid. Then just going to set that in place with my natural wet collection powder. Now I'm going to take the Tanya Burr Midnight Smolder Eye Palette and use the shade Midnight Navy. Take it on a precise brush and just put it on the outer corner of my eye. You just want to blend that outwards and upwards through the crease. I'm going to add a little bit more of that to give it more of a definition. I'm now going to take two NYX single shadows, one in pool side and one in candy. Just these two bright shimmery blue shades. Pigmentation's not great so what I'm going to do is use my finger um, instead of a brush just to give it more impact. I didn't want to buy a whole palette of bright colours as I'd only be using the blue. So I tried to just get some single eye shadows and they're not bet the greatest but they're nice colours so they would do. Just going to put that on the most part of my eye. I'm then going to use the candy shade and put it kind of in the inner corner of my eye and spread it out. I'm going to just keep on adding more and more until it's fully pigmented of the two shades just because they're not great pigmentation but I want a lot of pigmentation. Again we're not going to blend it in loads because then that's going to lose the colour. I kind of just pat it on. And spread it out just so it looks a bit better. Then I'm going to go back with the Tanya Bear palette and take the shade Stargaze in. Just going to kind of put it in my inner corner to highlight it up a bit. Now for the tricky part of the eyeliner. I'm not quite sure how well it's going to go on the left side because I'm not as good with makeup on my left side. Um, but I'm using the Barry M Eye Define in shade Aqua. It's this pollution recolor. We're just going to do nice flip just like I have done here and we're going to take it to about that. I probably took this a little bit too far um, but we don't want to go all the way into the inner corner. I'm aware that it's not very equal and it's probably not equal with the other side and it probably looks very rubbish but from a distance you won't be able to tell. I'm now going in with the Maybelline Master Ink White Eyeliner and I'm just going to take it above where we put the blue and kind of halfway on the eyelid. Again, it's not equal, but there it is. Obviously, if you look at it, it is slightly different, but once some mascara is on, it won't be as noticeable. So next, I'm going to go in with the pink, and it's the NYX Vivid Brights in Vivid Petal. And again, we're just going to go under the blue, and then going to take it about to three quarters under my eyelid. Okay, so the pink is done. By the way, the reason why I didn't show the eyeliner on camera is because I'm not very good at eyeliner. And I've not really got any method to it apart from with the stripes. If anything kind of got wonky, I just reapplied the other colour over the top, unneatened it up with a wipe just over the sides. And it's still not the neatest, but it's neater than what it would have been if I'd showed you on camera. Now we're going to go under the eye. Now to create this kind of slightly lighter blue, I mixed these two shades together. But because they dry up so fast, what I kind of did is a dark, a line of blue there and then a line of white there and then I quickly just mixed it in with this brush um to kind of give that light blue effect but then the darker of it will be in the center and the lighter will be in the inner corner so it will still kind of give it a nice subtle gradient okay so there that is again it isn't perfect but when we put mascara over the bottom lashes it will cover it all up I'm gonna cut my top eyelashes and I'm going to be applying the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara to my top and my bottom. Oh, I feel like I've got some in my eye. You know when you can just see something? I feel like it might be some eyeliner. I don't actually know where it is. Oh, this is going to be annoying me. Okay, so now we're just going to apply a white eyeliner in the waterline just to brighten my eyes out even more. Okay, so there are the eyes and I'm going to now get on with the face. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with my new Barry M primer and it is the Flawless Original. I haven't actually used it at all, so this is kind of going to be a first impression. 
I'm just going to smooth it all on my face. Oh, it's like a very moisturising texture. This had really good reviews, that's why I bought it. I just wanted a good primer because I haven't used primer for absolute ages. Probably since the summer, actually. Uh, okay, this is very moisturising. I suppose the true test of a primer is how long it will actually stick for. I feel like I need a bit more. I thought with this you would need a lot, but you probably need quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good base. I'm going to go in with the Revlon Colour Stay Foundation, um, like in my last makeup look, as it's my everyday foundation. This time I'm going to take the Expert Face Brush, just to mix it up a bit from a sponge, and I can't be bothered to go and wet it. I'm going to kind of put that in. They're using a brush actually worked quite well. I'm just going to go in with a second layer. And I think I'm going to blend um, it kind of all in with a sponge still, just to make sure it's all rubbed in. Now to cover up my spots, I'm just going to go in with the Texture Nasty Perfection Concealer in the shade 1 and 2, just going to mix them together. And just put quite a lot of concealer on, as this is a festival makeup look. And if I was going to a festival, I'm not by the way, hopefully I will in the future, but I'm not planning on this year. This would definitely be the makeup look I'd go for, but obviously you'd want it to be long lasting, which is why... I decided to wear a primer, like I don't usually, but you definitely want it to last all day and you definitely would not want any blotchy bits. Got a really annoying scab just there and scabs don't tend to cover up on me. My spots are actually really good at the minute. Um, they mostly are just scars, but got the odd one or two and that scab is just so annoying. Then to brighten my eyes, I'm going in with the new Lasting Perfection colour correctors and this is in the shade Lemon, the yellowy shade. This is incredible at brightening up your eyes. Like, amazing. Um, I still do go over, though, with the normal the light shade. Just to kind of give it some more natural look because this is quite intense. But I love it so much. And there we go. Just going back over with the normal Lasting Perfection. So now I'm just going in with my L'Oreal Contour Kit. Just taking it on my cheekbones. Blend it in with my Real Technique Sculpting Brush. My face makeup is literally going to be the same as in my last video, but there's going to be some slight changes. Then for my bronzer blush, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. palette uh, because e.l.f. is now officially launched in Superdrug and I couldn't be happier because I really love the makeup brand e.l.f. And it is in the shade Fiji Matte. I think that's just the name for the whole palette. This just suits my face perfectly, even though I love the Huda Buy bronzer, it's too quite orangey for me, and this is just a perfect shade. This is just the perfect shade that you can put all over your face, because it matches my skin tone well, as in, it looks so natural. So if you're a pay like me, this is the perfect option. I just remembered, I forgot my powder. Once I've done my bronzer, I'm going to put my powder on. I'm quite bronzy, as obviously... At a festival, you will hope to be quite tanned, I suppose. Um, unless you're in England, you probably won't get that tan, I'm not going to lie. So now my powder, as I obviously forgot that before, it's just a natural collection powder, just what we used for the eyelids. And even though I don't want to use the same brush as my bronzer, I've kind of got to because this is my powder brush. And I don't actually use any other brush or powder. I prefer loose powder so much better. I just feel like it sets anything more in place. I prefer to use a pressed powder kind of throughout the day to top up. Okay, so we're just going to use the bronzer in this palette. We don't want it too intense. Just a nice subtle pinkness to the cheeks. And the rain has just started great because I have a conservatory right outside my bedroom. So, sorry if you hear that. Okay, so I probably went for a bit more intense than I wanted to. But it's okay because in reality it probably wouldn't last throughout the day. It'd probably start to rub off anyway. Now I'm just going to take my highlighter, which is the Mary Luminizer. On my cheeks and on my brow bone. Okay, so the majority of face makeup is done. So we are now going to go in with the final twitches with the Festival Vibe. The reason I didn't want to go too intense on the cheeks is because I'm going to do a pattern on the cheeks using the blue and white eyeliner. It's not going to be perfect. They're meant to be dots, but that ain't going to show. We're kind of going to do a diamond shape on the cheekbone. That 
really isn't equal as you can see we are going to pretend it is equal and as it is a festival look anyway it doesn't have to be spot on does it because festivals are all about having fun not if you have got perfect symmetrical face art i'm just going to put a white dot in the middle just to join the whole lot that is not a dot oh my god that is not a dot that is more like a massive splodge but you know what? Oh, on that one. Oh no, we are going to go with a massive splodge because why not? I can pretend it was meant to be like that. Like a little paint splodge. I haven't done eyebrows. Do you know what? I actually was going to do eyebrows today, but again, I can't be bothered. So instead, I'm just going to take my Rimmel brow this way like I did in my last makeup tutorial when I couldn't be bothered. But I actually filled in my brows the other day. I think it might have been on a picture on my Instagram. And I actually loved it. Uh, when I say filled in my brow, I filled in one brow. It was when I kind of did a half makeup look. Half face bare, half face for makeup. But yeah, it will do. Because with this look, we probably would want quite powerful brows. Because I'm going to do some design around the brows. But you know what? We'll pretend that my brows are quite bold. They're quite bold anyway, to be honest. They're not exactly really sparse. So the design, we're going to take the pink and the white. And we're just going to do... Some lines around the forehead really alternating pattern again meant to be dots but they're going to turn out like lines but you know that doesn't matter that much oh my god i've got some pink in my brow what is that i'm just going to fill in the gaps with the white again what is that that's not a very good line i can't even do lines do you know what from a distance it doesn't look that bad but up close it looks so bad man okay we need to finish off with lips so because my camera battery cut out on me i just finished the makeup look with my urban decay setting spray because if you're a festival all day you want it to last and this will really help it and for lips because i wanted a bright pink to tie in with the rest of the look i've gone for the nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade free tokyo and yeah this is the finished look can I just say, I love it so, so, so much. I wish I was going to a festival right now. I've kind of got a festival style top on and a nice little choker. I forgot what it was called then. Just get me to a festival right now. Like, I wish it was acceptable to wear this every day because your life would just be so much funner looking like this. And it's just put me in a good mood. The reason why I chose to do festival makeup look, even though I'm not going to festival, is because it just looks so much fun when so many other YouTubers have done it. So I've decided to do my own take on it. Um, also, I read a thing quite a while ago that says if you've got brown eyes and um, brown hair, blue is really good. So, which is why I wanted to go with the main blue eye theme. Um, obviously, you can do any colour you want. Um, so, I just love the free kind of eyeliner, the under eyes, the this pattern, even though it didn't go quite well, the cheeks. Just everything and it's so much fun and I just enjoy so much experimenting. So if you would like to see any more weird wacky looks that you probably wouldn't wear unless you were going to festival or whatever. Just let me know below because I had so much fun creating this. And obviously it's bright colours that I'm not going to wear every day. I could if I would but I'm not brave enough to <laughs> walk around the streets like this. But yeah. I love it so much. So click the subscribe button down below if you want to see more. I finally got into a routine of uploading videos every Sunday. And hopefully this one went up on a Sunday. So yeah, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And also like the video so I know whether or not you would like to see more of this. And also comment below actually if you are going to any kind of festivals or concerts this year. That this would be perfect to wear it to. And you would have fun recreate, re, recreating it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.